Got her. Got her. Got her. Okay, guys. So, if you've been following along with the channel, you guys will know that I am here in Texas at Lake Fork. The last video was me traveling from California to Texas, showing that whole process. It was an interesting process, as you saw. And then pre-fish. The one day of pre-fish I get before the tournament. And uh, we found some fish. We found fish that I believe were moving in. The weather was just setting up right for them. We didn't catch a lot of fish, but I like what I saw in the pre-fish. So, it is Friday night, night before the tournament. Tomorrow is the Bass Nation Kayak series on Lake Fork. They already did the first Bass Nation kayak event at Logan Martin. I wasn't able to attend that one, but uh, this is the second one at Lake Fork. Oh, it's kind of a historical moment for kayak fishing, kayak tournaments. It's crazy to see an organization like Bass take on a kayak tournament series. I never thought that from a kayak, you'd be able to compete in Bass. So it's a really awesome opportunity, and uh, tomorrow will be my first shot at it. Hopefully we can run into some good fish tomorrow, but as always, we are just going to go out there, have a good old time on Lake Fork, try to catch some fish. I will see you guys tomorrow morning to start the tournament. We'll see you guys then. Six forty-five. Here we go. Later. Ooh, it's a dark one. All right, guys, here we go, making our way to our first spot. Looks like we're definitely gonna have some company today. We expected it. We got MLF round two today with us. We got another couple of local tournaments. It is going to take a pounding today. Let's just hope we can uh, manage five of those fish, five of the right fish, and most importantly, have some fun. Go catch some Lake Fork bass. Good luck, man. All right, made it here, 7.13, two minutes till first cast. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to go guys. So the spot we are starting on is of course the spot where we caught that five pounder yesterday. I'm gonna show you a little Google Earth image, but take a look at the spot. What makes it unique is there's a ton of buck brush and flooded trees around here, but look the look at the way these trees set up. It's like a little highway, like a three like a three-lane highway here that intersects. And I think a lot of these fish that we saw from yesterday were moving in, and it's a perfect, perfect place for them to move in and uh, actually move out as well. So we're going to fish this pretty thoroughly for the first couple hours and uh, hopefully run into some fish. Giant, but we'll take her. Get us started. Oh, jeez. Fix that. Let's cooperate, dude. All right, little 15 and a half to get us started. Yes, sir. Bunch of these today, I bet. Hope we need a bunch of these today. That's amazing. That sucks.
missed him. Oh my god, he had it. Son of a gun. Just took the tail. What? We gotta swim jig it up. Forget the rage menace. through the, the hole. Oh my god guys, that is such a bummer. At least it was a bite though. I saw that fish. <sighs> okay, I think it's a it's a good sign though. It's a that's a clue. Jeez, guys. I don't want to say the wheels are coming off, but I'm starting to get those uh, voices in my head. We've got one fish and it's 11.15. The good news is we've got five more hours to fish, but man, it just seems like I can't get anything going on this morning. And it feels like I've been fishing for like seven hours, to be honest. I just can't get anything going. I can't figure anything out. I don't know. I don't know. God, that took a while. Yeah, a little drop shot, of course. Baby brush hog. Pulling a mic ensign with a baby brush hog. Man, at this point, I would just take a limit, but who knows? We could have had some more fish move in as this day progresses. All right, 15 inch, number two. Oh, 
Hopefully I'm onto something with this little brush hog. First bedfish I saw right there. I don't know if I want to try to catch that one or not. That one was on a bed. The only problem is I saw his lip. It was like white looking. I think someone already probably jacked him. Heck, he didn't come back. Oh, there's a good one right there. That one's on a bed. I did not think they'd all be on beds like this. Dude, I just saw a giant go off of that bed. Holy smokes. There's some giants back here. Oh my god, there's a giant right. I, I did this tournament wrong, guys. I should have been sight fishing and set up to sight fish. Dang it. Well, guys, it is 1 o'clock and the uh, tournament is not going to plan. So we're going to make a big decision right now. We're going to cross the lake over there and fish a new stretch of water. Actually, I did catch one yesterday there, but other than that, it wasn't really happening, but I'm gonna fish in a few new places over there and uh, try to fill out my lemon. I got two right now and they're not even that good, so. I missed the bite here. Um, I didn't think they'd be on beds, but man, I just went up shallow and saw tons of fish on beds. And a lot of them had like a little bit of a white mist to their lip or whatever, and that probably means they were caught and put back. And in general, I've never had good luck bed fishing during tournaments and it's not really ideal conditions to bed fish and I don't even have my bed fishing equipment. I'll tell you one thing that I really wish I had today, it's a frog. Saw so much shallow like duckweed or pennywort, some kind of vegetation and these fish are shallow and man, I think that frog really could have done some damage. I don't know, as always, which unfortunately seems to be the trend of my tournaments, I am going to try to finish this one strong, get a limit, just have fun hopefully. Maybe, you never know. As we always say, you never know, things can change so fast. But uh, this is looking like a rough one. So we're gonna cross the lake, fish these last three hours as hard as we can. Well, that pretty much sums up uh, my tournament today. Hey, at least I got one prop left. Oh, that's not going fast at all. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, I'm enjoying some delicious Walmart sub. If you guys didn't see. Oh my God. Uh, we almost made it the full two days without breaking something. Well, at least I got one blade left because I would really hate to make the paddle I gotta go past that bridge to get back to the launch. That would be a tough paddle. If the wind's like this, I might be able to do it, but any worse, I might be calling somebody. <laughs> that changes things. I was gonna kinda go to a further away spot. Now I think I'm gonna be a little more cautious and go, I don't know, a little closer to the ramp just in case I need to paddle for whatever reason. I usually do carry a spare prop with me. Easy to change out, but obviously, um, yeah, didn't bring one with me for Texas. Oh well. Yeah, we, we just did not think about bed fishing. Not that I'm saying I'd catch them if it were a bed fishing tournament, but... <sighs> it's a giant right there. Oh my god, it's a giant fish right there. I think it's moving really either. Oh my god, it's right there. Come on, eat that. It's a giant fish right there. It's not really spooked off either. It's like a six, seven pounder right there.
Oh no! So, I did not mean to do that. I swear to God, I could not see the fish. I, I, I could not see the fish, but you, you guys will see it. That's not hooked correctly. That's not hooked correctly. I did not mic long that fish, I promise you. Ah, oh, boy, I don't think I can count that. It was unintentional. It's an okay fish, but I don't think I can count this fish. I'm gonna take a picture of it just in case, but uh, you know, I don't think I'm gonna be able to count this fish. I, I'm not sure what the ruling is. We'll take a picture just in case, get this thing back in the water. We'll have to call the tournament director, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to submit that fish. It was the weirdest thing too, because I saw that fish when I went by and it was looking right down at my bait. And I just kind of drifted back, the wind pushed me and my line just wouldn't move. So why not set the hook? I don't know if like my line got caught up in it's like fin or like fin or something. And I just like set into it, but I don't know, that's a bummer. Hello. Hey, Patrick, this is Greg Blanchard. Yes. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, so I just caught a fish, um, but I foul hooked it. I didn't intentionally foul hook it, but it was hooked outside the mouth. That doesn't count or does it count? Oh, yeah. It does not count. It does not count. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. No. All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. All right, bye. That's a bummer. That's a bummer, but that's what we thought, so, you know. Is what it is. Hello. Hey, Greg. Hey, what's up? Hey, number. Hey, I just wanted to, to hear again. Can you walk me through what happened from, uh, from the moment you cast it to that fish? I saw the fish in the water. It was, I was definitely planning on trying to sight fish it. Um, I made a cast at it, and then I drifted away from the spot. And as I was drifting away my line like wouldn't move so i set the hook and when i set the hook i mean i hooked into the fish but it was right in the back okay so all right we'll uh, we'll talk about it and we'll decide what we do all right thanks all right thanks man yeah bye a little drama here for me oh boy I got that fish denied, but we kind of expected that, so that guy did not count, unfortunately. Excuse me? Check it in, yes sir. Alrighty, tournament has concluded, cheers. So that's gonna do it for the tournament. Checked in and uh, I don't know where I ended up or the final results, but of course I will post them at the end of this video. Tough, tough day for me. I had a game plan, it just didn't work out. I will say this, I could tell you all the things that went wrong today, but you saw them. I don't need to tell you. That being said, Lake Fork is awesome. I mean, I've been here the past couple of days. Major League Fishing's been here. You know, I've been seeing some other guys show their catches off, and Lake Fork is a tremendous fishery, no doubt. Unfortunately, I didn't get to experience that, but uh, I had a good time. I had This was a, a really unique experience. It was uh, the first time that I brought all this kind of gear to Texas from California. Yeah, it is what it is. Fun event overall, really good experience. Happy to share it with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for these uh, two videos at Lake Fork. I've got a lot of work to do tonight. It is Saturday night. I have got to get all my stuff packed. Get up super early tomorrow morning, drop off the kayak, drop off the U-Haul, head to the airport, fly to San Francisco, and then drive home. So I'm going to be busy for the next uh, next 24 hours. That is the video. We're on a little bit of a tournament slump. It happens. I've had three tournaments in a row now, unfortunately, where I have not 
cuddle limit. We're talking Lake Wachita back in 2019, Folsom Lake where I got four, so we got two fish at Lake Four. But it is what it is. That is why it's called fishing. Anything can happen at any time. That is going to do it for the video. As always, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you back in California.